Thank you, everyone, for being here, and welcome to Front Runner. Front Runner, of course, is the improvised debate show where you, the voters, decide on the candidates, town name, issues, all that jazz. All that jazz, and then at the end of the night, you're gonna say who won the election. That's what's about to happen right now. Uh, let's see, <laughs> before we get started with this debate, I'd like to introduce my co-moderator, Ron Pasta Sauce. And this is my co-moderator, Luigi. As is tradition in, the, uh, in our town, our great town of Wallaby Wallaby, Washington, we serve uh, uh, libations and food at all of our debates, so there will be a server going around. Uh, if you would like anything to eat or drink, just raise your candle, I'll flag her down, and she'll help you out. If you need to use the bathroom. <laughs> if you need to use the bathroom, go get in that spotlight and wave. <laughs> Now, uh, before we get started, it's important to, uh, to, to talk to you, the voters, about which issues are most pressing here in Wallaby, Wallaby, Washington. That's true, and that's because the voters and the populace here in Wallaby, Wallaby, Washington are really what make this town great. So we want to know, what are the things that you want to hear our candidates talk about tonight? So we are going to open this up a little bit. Uh, what, what's an issue? that you really care about seeing solved right now? Pet health insurance. Pet health insurance. Is, is, it, is the pet health insurance good or bad? It's too good. It's too good. <laughs> pet health insurance. What's another issue that we might discuss in tonight's mayoral debate for Wallaby Wallaby Washington? UFO abductions. UFO abductions. It's a big problem. We're going to talk about it. <laughs> And then if we could get one, one more pressing issue. Hospital explosions. Hospital explosions. How, how many? Like a lot? Uh, at least a dozen. A dozen. A dozen at least. Thank you so much, citizens of Wallaby, Wallaby, Give yourselves Wallaby, a round of applause. Bless you. <laughs> oh, Ron, you always know what to say. <laughs> all right, now we're about to get started. It's that uh, moment that you've all been waiting for. We're going to meet our candidates now. Our candidates. Uh, they have many sheets of paper. We've got many sheets of paper floating around up here. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and introduce our first candidate. Uh, please welcome to the stage Hortense Parabo. <laughs> Welcome, Hortense Welcome. Parabo. Now if you could uh, give a round of applause for our next candidate, Billie Jean Dean. <laughs> Welcome, Billie Jean. And now our third and final candidate, Simon Barbara. Last and maybe least, it seems. All right, now what you all are going to see tonight in this first section of the debate is going to be opening statements from each one of the candidates. What are you, no, 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 no. 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 Simon, Simon, please. What you're gonna see, what you're gonna see is opening statements from okay. each one of our candidates. Then we're going to go around, we're gonna take some time to discuss the issues that you said were important to you. Uh, you may see a commercial break or two. Uh, we will likely take a short intermission so that everyone can go to the spotlight and empty their bladders. <laughs> and then we will come back for a second half where you will vote for who wins this 
debate. That's so, right. To get started, we will go through and take opening statements from each of our candidates. They will each get one minute to state who they are and why you should vote for them. So why don't we start with uh, Hortense Parabo. Hi. My name is Hortense. You might know me from the bookstore. I run the Poetry Slams. I wrote a poem. They Thank you for that 60 second opening statement. Next up is uh, our next candidate, Billie Jean Dean. Hey y'all, I am Billie Jean Dean. No relation to Paula Dean, though I get that all the time. <laughs> y'all know me from the diner, the Jean Dean Diner. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Serving up your pies. Boy, do I love this town of Wallaby, Wallaby, Washington. Y'all light up my life, okay? You bring me joy and happiness. But I am, I am, I do have concerns about this town. And, uh, but you know what? I want to bring us all together through the wonder and beauty of pie and food and love. I see all your smiling faces out there tonight, and I cannot wait to put a heaping scoop of vanilla ice cream on a microwave slice of cherry pie. A rousing and charismatic opening statement. Now, please, Simon Barbara. No fucking clapping for me. Huh? <laughs> Fine, I don't need clapping. Clapping is needed by the weak. <laughs> 30 years ago, we didn't have a bookstore. 30 years ago, we didn't have a diner. These are the good times. Right now, right now are the good times. But you have to be ready for the bad times. And that's why I'm running for mayor. I have a five point plan. I'm not ready to introduce it yet because I anticipate as soon as I do one of those jackalopes is gonna hit the goddamn bell on me. Five, four, uh, that's right, we are four, both uh, graduates of Wallaby Wallaby High. Go Jackalopes. Go Jackalopes. Go Jackalopes. Go Jacks. All right, let's jump straight into the issues. Issue number one, pet health insurance. There's too goddamn much of it. It's too good. Uh, it's too good. It's too good. There's the right amount of it, but it's too good. Uh, Hortense, uh, yes or no? <sighs> okay. So, uh, I, I, uh, we, we, you, have, you can, yeah, we'll phrase it like this, sure. Uh, the pet insurance, pet health insurance is too good. Agree or disagree? Okay. Uh, the insurance is too good. Um, sometimes things have to pass away. <laughs> if you're going to feel things about that and then have art and I, believe in art. I wrote a poem about it. So 
Do I have time? Oh, you yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> They look at me. <laughs> Thank you, Hortense. Uh, let's, let's go second to Billie Jean Dean. Pet health insurance is too good. Agree or disagree? Y'all, I disagree. I am the proud mother of four schnauzers. <laughs> Let me tell you, our health insurance is so good they have all passed away, and we were able to bring them all back to life. <laughs> it's a wondrous thing. They are a part of my family. They are my children. And I will not stand idly by while everybody else wants me to get a new dog. I will have the same dogs that I have always had. Thank you, Billy Jean Dean has four reanimated schnauzers and will not replace one of them. Uh, let's move on to Mr. Barbara. I'm gonna circle back. Good times, good times. 30 years ago, I didn't have health insurance. And now, her freaking dog's got him. <laughs> We're soft. Let me just say this, you cannot be the mother or the father of an animal. Especially if your GD diner serves beef and pork, chicken, and maybe salmon. <laughs> Miss Dean, care to respond? You know, I get this a lot. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next issue. <clears throat> the citizens of Wallaby, Wallaby, Washington are uh, concerned about the UFO abductions. Agree or disagree, Mr. Barbara? I disagree. They are not worried. They are not worried. You two make them think it's real. You tell it on the radio and they're all like, oh, alien abductions. Not real. Not real. They are hit and runs and we have not found them. Let's go to Hortense Parabo. They look at me. <laughs> they want answers to their questions. They hope someone will fill that void, but no one will. Why do the sheep go ba, ba, ba? <laughs> also, I, I do think someone should do something about the aliens. Uh, next up, Miss Jean Dean. Listen, y'all. I know y'all are afraid of those aliens, but let me tell you, they are friendly. <laughs> they are so kind. They love my pie. I'll tell you what. They have took it, taken me up there many times and you you know what they say to me i can't repeat it because i can't hear it with my ears but i know they're talking <laughs> they ask for a patty melt every time follow-up question how do you know they're asking yeah. for a patty melt you know it's just uh it's something i feel that's how they communicate, you know, through feelings, and I feel it in my heart and in my loins. Do I feel it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, care to comment on what you feel in your loins, Mr. Barbara? <laughs> Last time I was with a woman was 1984. <laughs> Uh, 
Do the math on that. Uh, uh, fact check uh, from that last uh, a group of answers. Uh, turns out the UFOs abductions are real. And you can hear more about it on our podcast. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, out of this world. Ron, out of this world featuring Ron Pasta Sauce and Luigi. And Luigi. Uh, and you can hear about it on your morning drive. Yes. Wherever you get your podcasts. Issue three. Hospital explosions. There's been at least a dozen. There could possibly have been more than that, but most of us are going deaf from all the noise. Too loud. <laughs> Too loud. What, what do you think needs to be done, if anything at all, to stop these hospital explosions? And do you have any explanation for why they might be happening? Uh, let's start with Billie Jean Dean. Y'all, this is a tragedy, okay? I'm losing business because people are getting blown up in those hospitals, and guess where they're not coming? Back to the Jean Dean Diner, that's where they're not coming. You know what we need to do? I say, stick with me here. <laughs> I say, we get those patients out of those hospitals. We blow them all up and we rebuild. Uh, clarifying question, we blow up the patients or the hospitals? Just the hospitals. We will save the patients because I need that pie money, y'all. <laughs> It is good pie. It's, it's very good it's pie. It's very good pie. Have you had the key lime? I have. That's my favorite. Wow, it's so good. Graham cracker crust. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, let's go to Hortense. I feel sick. I wish there was a place I could go. But then an explosion in my mind. Boom, boom, boom. I was born in 1984. A fascinating coincidence. Well, I believe that wraps up our first three issues, so at this point we will what take a... What the fuck? <laughs> I have a point. Well, All right, Simon, go for go it. Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't get... You skipped me on this just, round. Just do it, man. Oh, I'm sorry. You are not. Here we go. When you are trying to practice for something, you practice for it, right? When you're running, you put weights on, then you run, and then you take those weights off, right? So maybe someone would set some explosions off, right? To harden this town, to make us stronger. But they not only have a brain, they have a heart. And they put those explosions in hospitals where they are closest to being cared for. Are you saying you condone the explosions? I am doing them. Well, You're welcome. Somebody arrest this man. Now, unfortunately, being on the somebody. debate stage uh, makes it so that you are actually, uh, you have impunity You're for immune. being arrested. Yeah. yeah. None of this is court admissible. That's, that's not, true. That's true. I've looked up, true. I've looked it up. That's true. That's true. Unfortunately. Well, at this point, we will go ahead and take a short commercial break. Uh, we will be right back the mayoral debate for Wallaby Wallaby Washington. I 
think you let the voters decide. The debate, will, the debate will be returning from commercial break in five, four, three, two, one. Good evening and welcome back to the mayoral debate of Wallaby Wallaby Washington. We're gonna kick this next section of the debate off with some uh, candidate questions. Uh, each candidate is gonna have the opportunity to ask each candidate a question of their own. So uh, what will happen, uh, we will select one of the three candidates. They will then ask uh, an open-ended question that both of the other candidates will have an opportunity to respond to. Um, so I say let's go ahead and start it off with uh, Simon, Barbara, Thank uh, you. any question you'd like to ask both of your fellow candidates? Thank you. Miss <laughs> Dean, who was your mother? I grew, up, I grew up here in Wallaby Wallaby. I don't know what you're trying to insinuate here. Okay, good, next. <laughs> that one. My mother is um, Deborah. Deborah what? There's a lot of Deborahs. What? A is it De Deborah or Deborah? Like a like a Deborah? It's Deborah Harabo. Oh. <laughs> three syllables and three syllables. All right. Uh, we've given you the opportunity to ask a question that could highlight the differences between you and your fellow candidates. We now know who both, no, just one of their mothers is. <laughs> I don't need to, I do not need to answer that question. That is personal. It is. is but it? on this stage, unfortunately, it's like a truth serum. You have to answer everything. Yeah. I was going to say that too. <laughs> My mom is Paula Dean, y'all. I rest my case. I would lie too. Can I ask specifically why you're keeping this a secret? She killed a lot of people. I, I wish, I wish he were wrong. He is not. She has killed a lot of people. A lot of people. Also very racist. Also very racist. I do not want to be associated with that. Yet you did not change your last name. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Hortense Parabo. If you'd like to ask a question uh, to either or both of your fellow candidates. Um, yes. Where, where have you been? <laughs> Let's start with Billie Jean Dean there. Let's start with Billie Jean Dean. Honey, I've been a lot of places. <laughs> yeah, me too. But I think, really, the spirit of the question is, where have you been? Where have you been? Okay. Thank you. I have been here in Wallaby Wallaby, Washington, supporting our citizens by making pie and patty melts and keeping the UFOs satisfied so they're not coming down and picking all y'all up, okay? Remember that. That's where I've been. That is where I've been. I've been up in an alien spaceship, y'all. An angry and defensive Billie Jean Dean channeling her mother. <laughs> Simon Barbara. I'd like to answer that with a haiku. I have been gone, so, 
so long that time has passed. <laughs> Don't think I missed. <laughs> Could you read it again? We need to count the syllables. I have been gone so. I have been gone so. So long that time has passed. Don't think I miss. Five, seven, five. It's not a good haiku. It has no nature in it but it is by definition. Uh, Hortense, do you care to respond? Don't think, don't think you missed what? Much. Your haiku is bad. It has meaning and I finished it. I still have no idea where you've been, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's been where I've been. All right, uh, now continuing through the uh, candidate question round. Uh, what, do, what do we got left? Billie Jean Dean? Billie yes. Jean Dean to ask a question uh, to her fellow candidates. Go ahead, Miss Jean Dean. Listen, y'all, I heard something real disturbing over my commercial break. Poor Hortense over here has said that Simon Barbara is her dad. Oh. Now I don't want, I will not let Hortense be cared for by some bomb maniac bombing our hospitals. Is this a question? <laughs> this is a question, right? I'll take this as a, this is an extended preamble. Yes. I'm sure the question is coming. Prologue to the question. My question is, Simon, you have a child. Again, a declarative what? statement. What? <laughs> but I, we're, I think we're getting there. We're getting closer. I'm 35. Sounds right. Simon, what? <laughs> Simon, did you even know that you had a child? There it is. Hortense also has to answer this question. <laughs> I, can I ask a separate question to Hortense? No. no. Oh. Hortense, I'm going to. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Hortense, how long have you known that Simon is your father? Let's answer him in order. <laughs> Yours first. I don't even remember the question. <laughs> How long did you know that you had a daughter? About 32 years. <laughs> wow, okay. Do we all hear that? 32 years. And this, this, Man. this joker said nothing. And then Hortense? Sometimes you know things with your head. Sometimes you know things in your heart. Sometimes you try not to believe what they tell you, what they tell you, what they tell you for roughly 12 years. Hortense, I've noticed that you like to use repetition in much of your work. It's a literary uh, tactic. Yeah. I think it works great. It works great. Thank you. You can come to a poetry slam. Where are they? They're at the bookstore. Can we do our podcast? In the slam, maybe? Um, yeah, okay. 
Honey, you don't have to. You don't have to do that if you don't want. No, no, no one comes now. So then there'd be okay. two there. <laughs> It's, it's at Wana Walla Books. Okay. All right. Well, at this point, uh, we are going to take a about 10 minute intermission. Get up, stretch your legs, go to the bar, order some drinks, order some foods, use the bathroom. We'll be back. And also be sure to visit the Front Runner Comedy Instagram account as we are taking questions for the, the next round. Yeah, that's right. The, the second round will open up uh, uh, with some questions from social media. So whatever you post to social media, those questions could end up up on this stage being asked to these three amazing candidates. Amazing. That's it. All right, that's it. Thank you. Thank you everyone uh, once again for being here and welcome back to Front Runner, the improvised political debate. Uh, let's please give a warm round of applause as we welcome our candidates back to the stage. Thank you, candidates. All right, as you all know, the citizens of Wallaby Wallaby, Washington, we asked you for some social media questions for our mayoral candidates. Uh, and we're gonna do that now. Boy howdy, did you deliver. <laughs> Let's see, uh, I'm just gonna start right here. Uh, Annette Mankus asks, the water has been tainted. What's the best alternative for hydration and hygiene? Uh, let's start. Let's start with Simon Barbara. I just, it's just that. They say, oh, water is not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow we managed, and here I am. Suck it up. Okay, uh, Billy Jean Dean. Y'all, I'm gonna share with you a little Jean Dean family secret. I have never had a drop of water in my life. <laughs> Y'all, when I'm thirsty, I throw some butter in the microwave and I drink it up. That's great. This is a slight detour, but just out of curiosity, I know where the Dean in Gene Dean came from, but who contributed the Gene? I don't like that you brought that up. Well, as you know, this stage is like a it, truth yeah. serum, yeah, it, yeah. as we explained before. So, please. My father invented blue jeans. <laughs> Your father was Levi Jeans? Levi Jeans? <laughs> I have jeans. I have jeans. I have one. Wow. Round of applause if you have jeans. <laughs> well, it was a slight detour, but I'm certainly glad I asked. Yeah, you absolutely. know, he was not a good man. Let's not. Let's All not. All right. Uh, you don't have to be a good man to be a great man. Uh, Hortense uh, Parabo, how about that water? Uh, I know this will come to a shock, but um, some days I just have to keep it really low key. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't want to get thirsty or sweaty, I just stay inside and stay out of the sun and uh, try not to get too excitable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how about another social media question there, Mr. Pasta Sauce? Sure thing, Luigi. This question comes from Carrie Lawrence Livesay, and it says, 
Kill Mary Bang, <laughs> Mr. Barbara, Hortense Bravo, or Jean Dean. So I guess you have to kill Mary or Bang yourself at, in, in this. Um, Who are you? Let's, let's, start with, let's start with Hortense. And you know what? I'd like to know why as well for each Yeah, choice. why? Uh. Hortense, would you like to kill, marry, or bang your illegitimate father? Um. I, this question makes me so happy. <laughs> um... I think, I think, I think I, I think I would kill him and then I think I'd be really sad even though for a moment I'd feel a lot of satisfaction. Uh, um, and I, I would marry. And I'd why would you bang yourself? <laughs> why didn't you ask why she would marry this one? Why do you ask that one? Why do you ask that? I think why? the answer is obvious. Shock jocks. Um, I think I have a very particular erotic sensibility that not a lot of people get. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Simon Barbara. Simon Barbara. First off, does anyone have a pen? My pen is out of ink. You can borrow mine. Who? No. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Who, who is enabling this As is this customary man? in Walla, Walla, Wallaby, Wallaby, Washington, if someone asks for a pen, you fucking throw it. Yeah. Thank you, pen hucker. Uh, I would kill myself. I would, I, I wouldn't like it, but I would bang that one. I would marry my own daughter. Why would, if you have to ask, figure you're a dumbass. Why, why would you marry your own daughter? Why would I what? Why would you marry your own daughter? My options are to fuck her or kill her. This isn't a prisoner's dilemma. This is very simple. You heard it straight from his own mouth. Simon is... Barbara would marry his own daughter, this fucked up That's freak. The That's the sweetest thing he's ever said to me. It's true. Uh, Miss Jean Dean. Miss Jean I... Dean. Y'all remember when I was telling you about my schnauzers? Yeah. Well, it just so happens my DNA has been cryogenically frozen in our lab off of uh, Route 21. Getting another one of those long preambles. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, kill me. I'll come right back. <laughs> I cannot die, y'all. <laughs> and not only that, but I have been, you know doing it with these aliens for so long. <laughs> I have some superhuman abilities these days. Clarifying question. By doing it, do you mean? I would bang the aliens. That's my, that's my answer. I would not, I would not bang either of these. I take it. Sounds good. Checks Ooh. out. Yeah. Who would you marry? You know, uh, I would I would marry Hortense. Yeah. You come by you come by the Jean Dean Diner any day, honey. You get free pie. All right. You will get shot. <laughs> well, take that as a decision on who to kill. 
Our next question comes from Frankly H91. Do you believe a hot dog is a sandwich? <laughs> Start with Hortense. No. Billie Jean? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm very stumped on this one. Is a hot dog a sandwich? What are you, crazy? Of course it's not a sandwich! I thought y'all were better than this. Who asked that question? Frankly, H91. Frankly, H91? I got something to tell you. Don't you ever, ever step... You know what? My mind is not that loud. Get out of here. Don't you ever, ever come in my diner and ask for a hot dog because I won't give it to you. Great, it's about time. I would just, I would, this isn't even a microphone. <laughs> what is this? Oh, fucking joke. A hot dog is a piece of meat. It's got two, uh, could be two breads. Don't you dare say what I think you're about to say, Simon. I will just say this. As mayor of this town, I wouldn't be labeling things and saying what is okay and what isn't. And you can't have a sandwich because it's not from my store and dripping of racist butter. <laughs> I don't need a microphone to tell you you can eat whatever you want. <laughs> Great. Doing a podcast. He doesn't Do I need, need it. That microphone? Care to respond to the charge that your butter is racist? <laughs> My mother was a racist, y'all. I am not. I have alien friends, y'all. <laughs> That's all I'm saying on that. That's all I'm saying. But are on that. any of the aliens black? <laughs> like, like even one of them. No comment. Again, refusing to answer a question. We'll take that as a no. Let's Let take see. another social media question. This is my looking for a question song. This question comes from at Taylor Davis, etc. Hats. <laughs> There's a question mark at the end of it, so it counts as a question. That's true. So perhaps better phrased as hats? Uh, let's start with Simon. It used to be popular. I used to wear a hat every day, not inside. <laughs> And now the only ones doing it are skater punks, lawyers. So hats? Yes. That's great. Uh, Hortense. Um, <clears throat> I don't particularly want to agree, but um, with all the explosions and ash falling from the sky, a hat is often a good idea. <laughs> so, yes. Just to clarify, you are talking about the hospital explosions. Caused by the man to my right. Your father, who would marry you in a heartbeat. <laughs> if he could. If he could. That freak. Uh, Billie, Billie Jean, Jean Dean. Dean. Listen, y'all, I love me a hat. Yes. Yes, hats. Yes. Give it. Yes. Hats. I love hats. That was your most concise answer thus far. Let's bring a hat. Let's bring hats. Let's bring hats back, y'all. That's what I will do as mayor is bring back the hat. Expert pandering from Billie Jean Dean. 
And and the spirit of that the spirit of that answer uh, uh, <laughs> is going to carry us into our next commercial break. See you soon. Turning from commercial break in five, four, three, two, one. I hope you all enjoyed uh, your commercials. Boy, that Six Flags guy sure can dance. He's just a moving and a grooving. All right, uh, you've come back just in time for the lightning round. Now at this point, uh, uh, Ron Postasos and myself are going to uh, throw some issues uh, and some ideas at these candidates and they are going to do their best to use those to differentiate themselves uh, and really give you a clear-cut choice of what you're going to vote for. Now is the time for them to sell themselves as the best choice for mayor of Wallaby Wallaby Washington. Yep. Let's get started. Hortense, at the beginning of the debate, you said that things have to die. Why? Because life wouldn't have any meaning if there was no death. Got fans of death out there. How will you do good things for Wallaby Wallaby Washington with that? Um, I think that um, someone with some thoughtfulness and um, a lot to say <laughs> would really be great for this town. Um, there's a lot of noise in the form of UFOs and explosions. Excellent. Uh, Simon Barbara, you've pledged to harden the youth of this town with mandatory military academy attendance. <laughs> How do you plan to put that into effect, and how exactly do you envision the change? Thank you for returning to my five-point plan. <laughs> that is number four. Incentivize military service, not a draft. I wouldn't make someone join a military. I would just say, would you like citizenship? <laughs> Love it, or leave it. Do lots of obligations feel optional for you? If you don't love it. I will say this, sometimes the best place to be in someone's life is not in it. <laughs> For their own good. Darth Vader. That one hurt. <laughs> All right. Billie Jean Dean. How do you respond to concerns that, if you were mayor, you would be mayor forever because you've cryogenically frozen your DNA? 
Y'all, I am the only one here keeping this town alive. I don't know if y'all realize that, but we have a UFO problem. I am the one who has appeased them time after time after time. They are very pleasured. All right? As soon as I stop, you're gone. All right? Y'all should be thanking me, and y'all should be happy that you have, that you're about to have a mayor who was smart enough to cryogenically freeze her own DNA so that she can live forever. Y'all are going to be safe as long as uh, me and the aliens. Uh, fo quick follow-up question. <laughs> quick follow-up question. Who of us will be safe? Everybody. Everybody? Everybody. That's wonderful. I'm asking for me personally. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm the only person in this room <laughs> that should be concerned. <laughs> yeah, will I be? Am I good? No comment. Moving on. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Billie Jean Dean protecting us all from harm is the little Dutch boy with her finger in the aliens. I, I got to oh. applaud it. Real American hero. How poetic. Uh, let's let's uh, jump through. Let's get another round. <laughs> Get through another round of these. Hey. Hortense, could you describe your plan and vision for the town via poem? Things look bad. <laughs> you can touch that bell one more goddamn time. It's the lightning it round. Go ahead. Finish your DD poem. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Over more. There you go. Things look bad. So many people are sad. But don't cry. I'll tell you why. We can do things actually with the economy and build new hospitals. Sensible policy will actually save us. Um, let's see, uh, Miss Jean Dean, uh, uh, word on the street is uh, that you're about to release a cookbook uh, uh, with your mother uh, uh, that is titled, um, The Bodies Under the Kitchen. <laughs> Care to explain? Y'all, my mother, you know, she has done a lot of atrocious things, but she makes good food. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not, y'all, I just, we, we cook with the bodies, I'm sorry. There we is. cook with human flesh. There it is. <laughs> That's why it tastes so good. You can't do anything about it. Set on stage. Even the key lime pie? Y'all have been eating oh. human flesh in all the my The graham cracker crust? It's, it's uh, just like ground up dried skin. I'm, 
Stephen Graham crust. My neighbor, Stephen Graham. Nope. Oh my gosh. Well, we've got one more question to ask and possibly the slowest lightning round of all time. Uh, and that goes to Simon Barbara. Uh, Simon Barbara, uh, <laughs> rumor on the street is that you're 105 years old. <laughs> is that true? And why? <laughs> Some of us don't need to clone our DNA. We're just strong. <laughs> and we won't die. Because we're strong. <laughs> But we're not perfect, even if we're like the Highlander. <laughs> we make mistakes, things we regret. And uh, one second. I have a bag here, and it's filled with birthday cards that I haven't sent for 32 years. They're for you. you can I think we need to test that bag for a bomb. <laughs> let's see here, we are walking towards the bag. No, Hortense, honey. Honey, let the bag go. Here, here we go. Hortense, please. Go. Hortense. Honey. If you if you could just let us take a look just let us take a look in the back. Even a terrible go, go. person I'll, can do I'll a good thing. <laughs> they wouldn't necessarily blow up their own daughter on stage, even though they couldn't be charged with right, it. It's clean. <laughs> I mean, honest to God, who are you gonna vote for? I don't think so. Yeah, well, if you don't for, for, vote for me, I'm sorry, y'all are dead. So. I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> and we're glad you are, Hortense. We're glad you are. All right, it's now time for our final statements. Uh, each candidate will take a couple of minutes uh, to sum up what your deal is. Why should we vote for you? Uh, you can step out to center stage if you'd like. Might be nice. Uh, let's go ahead and start with Billie Jean Dean. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I will just reiterate once again that I've been keeping this town safe by fucking a bunch of aliens. <laughs> I love you all. I want this town to survive. Wallaby Wallaby is where I grew up. You know, forget... Forget my mom, forget my dad. I am me, Billie Jean Dean. And if you vote for me and elect, you may and elect me mayor, y'all will live. It's about as simple as that. If you don't, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with those aliens. I'm running out of stamina, y'all. I'm 60. <laughs> I don't have a lot left. Of course, I do, I can just clone myself, but uh, I'll be around, but I just won't, just won't be helping anymore. I might go get a summer house somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, y'all, I love you, Wallaby Wallaby. Make the right choice. Mr. Simon Barbara. They're here. <laughs> did y'all hear that? They, they, they did not. <laughs> they just communicate with me sometimes. I heard it. Simon, if you could. Yeah. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. <laughs> Look, to save this town and all your lives, I'd suck an alien's dick. 
I don't think that's even a question. I think anybody in this room would suck an alien stick. Yeah, right? That's a guy who threw the pen. I'll just say this. I've got one tool in my tool bag. And every problem I've solved with a hammer. And for the last 105 years, that's worked out okay. But maybe times have changed. And Hortense Parabo, your closing statement. I'm starting your timer now. <sighs> this has been a hard day. <laughs> And I think what I've learned is that people will always disappoint you. Even Billie Jean, who I thought really might be a new friend, turns people into pies. So I'm once again left very sad, but I might disappoint you too, but I would also try really hard. And together, maybe we could do better than we've done before. And I wrote a poem about it. <clears throat> this was a terrible experience. <laughs> I am in despair. Yet I am stronger than yesterday. My loneliness ain't killing me no more. <laughs> All right, at this point, we would now ask all three candidates to step down to the front of the stage because it's time to vote. Traditionally in Wall Wallaby Wallaby, Washington, we would do a caucus, but we want to get you the results tonight. So, a lot of Ooh. Iowa fans in the building. Fans of the state of Iowa, wow. All right, so we're just gonna do this by applause. Uh, give a round of applause. If you would like to vote for Simon Barbara. Yeah! A smattering and one very loud voice. A round of applause if you would like to vote for Billy Jean Dean. I would certainly say that was more. I'd say currently Billy Jean Dean in the lead. In the lead, in the lead. Uh, and next. Hortense Parabo. Yeah! All right, we're going to take a second to tabulate the votes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your mayor, Hortense Parabo. Yeah! And now Hortense will give her first uh, remarks as mayor of Wallaby Wallaby, Washington. Wow. What a roller coaster. <laughs> Wallaby Wallaby, I love thee. And I can't wait to serve you for the next couple of years. I would like to fix things with my dad. <laughs> and maybe we can all get started at this week's Poetry Slam, Tuesday at 7.30 at Wanna Walla Books on 24th Avenue. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I think we're going to cancel it because I didn't know the aliens were racist, but. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to. Yeah. 
All right, we'll see you backstage, Mayor. Uh, thank you all for coming out to see Frontrunner, the improvised debate and election show. We have some housekeeping to do. We've got a little bit to tell you. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, if any of this looked fun to you, uh, you can take classes uh, in improvisation. Uh, just go to www.theimprovshop.com. You can sign up for classes there. Yes. Yeah, you can do this. Uh, also, <laughs> hey, uh, the Missouri primaries are March 10th. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the deadline to register to vote is February 12th. That is next, next tu Tuesday. Tuesday. Right. So uh, one way you can register is going to vote411.org. That's what the website looks like right there. Uh, and you can register so that you can do your civic duty and make things not be fucked up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let's get a, <laughs> how, many how many people in here are currently registered to vote? Yeah. All right, nice. good. And nice. if you didn't clap, you could be a part of that next time. Yeah. Wow. And then lastly, our next show is March 20th. Uh, so please come out, uh, see another uh, rousing mayoral election. Um, yeah. That's great. We'll be sure to make a joke about the Missouri primary that hopefully will go over better than the Iowa caucus joke. Yes. <laughs> All right, thank you everybody for coming. Uh, stick around for more shows. Cage Match is in here at 10, and there's more shows across the hall if you want those, too. If this is where you leave us, have a great night. Thank you for coming. Yeah.